Welcome to IDB everyone. Sphero is known for its line of remote control toys. They're app enabled robotic Bluetooth devices that include the actual Sphero ball as well as the cool ones like BBA and even from the movie Cars. The new one is the Sphero Mini, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It is a tiny, super tiny app controlled robotic ball that you can drive around. There's also a bunch of other fun games you can play with it and other uses for it as well. When playing, you can get about 45 minutes of runtime out of this tiny little ball, and it charges over micro USB. It comes in a variety of colors, you can change the color of the lights on it. It's just really fun and really cool to do. The getting starter guide is printed on the box itself, which is basically open the casing of the ball, plug the ball in, and while charging, download the Sphero Mini app. We happen to have the orange version of the Sphero Mini, and you can see it's enclosed in this little house that's actually a great place to store it as well, so it doesn't kind of roll around off your tables. On one side, it has the Sphero logo, which is that little moving ball with eyes, and around the other side, we just have the word Mini, which if you couldn't tell by the size, it's the, it's the Mini version of the popular Sphero. So to actually charge it and do everything else, you need to open up the casing. You can see there's a little bit of a seam right there in the middle of the colored area. And it actually comes apart into two pieces, kind of like one of those plastic Easter eggs. And then inside you'll find the, all the actual robotics as well as where you can actually charge it. It's kind of cool looking where you can see all the wheels and there's like weights on one side and there's the lights and the LED and of course the micro USB port. Basically the way this works is just this has a weight inside and it moves around and causes the ball on the outside to roll along with it. When you plug in the micro USB just to this actual internal ball part, it'll go ahead and light up and let you know the status of the charging. So you can easily see with a, jam a glance if it is still charging or if it is charged all the way up. Once you've got it powered up and you get the app downloaded on your phone, you are all ready to start controlling your Sphero. Inside the box, along with the Sphero itself, there's a few accessories, including that micro USB port or micro USB cord a set of little silicone bowling pins that you can use to play like bowling games of just driving your Sphero, see who can knock more pins down. And then there's even a set of little cones. So you can do like, kind of like a slalom, like going in and out of all the cones and racing and playing other games like that. I have to say it was also definitely fun to play with my pets. My cat absolutely loved this thing and was chasing it around all over the place. He was chasing it, the ball was chasing him. It was definitely a fun time and kind of a pain to try to film this with both a dog and a cat just chasing this tiny little ball all around my floors. It's a lot easier with the cat because he can't really destroy it. If my dog would have picked this up, he probably would have cracked that outer housing. But for the cat, it was definitely fun and I had to edit out a lot of cat pouncing on the Sphero ball footage. Controlling it can be a little bit knacky because it doesn't turn as sharply as you may want it to and on carpets that are really really fluffy it may have a little bit of problem on but once you have a, a good flat carpet or you have uh, some hardwood floors or something it should drive around pretty easily it's just not as precise as you may want it to be but that can make things like the bowling and the slalom more fun because it's a lot harder to do. There's also several different driving mechanisms that you can use to control the Sphero Mini. So for instance, you can use the joystick that we saw. We saw a slingshot where you can just pull back and let go and just shoots it in that direction. That's kind of a fun one. There is tilt where you can just tilt your phone around. And as you can see, as those little beads around the phone move, that's where the direction of the Sphero will go. There's even one called face control where you can kind of make faces and tilt your face and it'll control the Sphero that way. One interesting use is using it as a controller for several games in the app. So for instance, this one kind of here, like Invaders, I can move around by tilting and turning the sphere, rotating it around uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, as well as forward and back to move my spaceship around and to destroy all the asteroids. This is just one of the games that were in the app. So far, there are probably three or four maybe different games that you can currently play in there, including that Light Speed, Light Speed Drifter, Exile 2, which you just saw, and Round Trip. All involved is using this as a controller to move around and actually control your player in the game. Bottom left hand corner you can see all those different driving modes like the face, the joystick, the slingshot, and the tilting mechanisms. And in the top left you're able to connect to a different Sphero if you happen to have multiple. 
I loved testing this out. So did my pets, even though the dog got scolded a little bit and sat here on the couch pouting while I filmed the rest of the review. But it was a lot of fun. It was really cool to play with. There were so many different ways that you could play with. This is a fantastic gift uh, for a kid. It's definitely a great option if you want to do something that's like remote controlled, but very different and a lot cheaper than the full size Sphero. You can find it at the link below in the description and let us know what you think down in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, it's Andrew for IDB.